Alright, so I'm going to the San Dimas Library, and it's about a 20 minute drive. I want to stick on the, the Route 66 route because it seems like just the easiest, most direct way to get there. Oh man, today is starting out pretty bad. I discovered that I lost one of my iPods. I don't even recall like what was happening when I lost it. I don't recall. I don't know what happened. I've been I've been sick for the past couple of days and been just out of touch with uh, my with things going on around me. I, I guess I must have dropped it somewhere. I kind of I hear something. I kind of suspect that I might have dropped it near the... What is that sound? I suspect I might have dropped it near the library. Maybe the last library I was at. Because I've noticed that uh, one time when I... When I uh, I put on two bags at the same time over each shoulder that uh, sometimes can loosen up my loosen my iPod up out of my pocket it's happened once before and being being really in pain a lot in my guts and all that so I just I really became unaware of of what I was doing so, uh, so maybe maybe I either dropped it off at the the library or or maybe somewhere in Walmart I've been looking in my car and I don't see it so I'm just gonna assume that it really is lost and I'm gonna have to do a major cleaning operation in my car that's partly why uh, San Dimas is so so attractive is because there looks like to be a parking spot that can give me possibly some privacy so I hope to work with that privacy. It's the better of my two iPods. This iPod I'm using doesn't uh, have any battery life left. I have to constantly plug it into a, a spare battery outlet. I'll have to settle back on uh, the iPhone 4, fall back on that, which I've been prepared to do. I've been always prepared to fall back on the iPhone 4. In a way it's an advantage with the iPhone 4 for doing for like talking and doing vlogs because it, it naturally creates uh, lower quality videos that that have a tendency to upload faster anyway so when it's just me talking I was trying to decide on what the what camera to use the iPhone 4 is ideal for that because it uploads fast I don't need to sh portray a, a, a heavy detail of of uh, just when I'm talking it could just be a voice voice uploads only uh, and this this morning I I actually pooped myself like literally pooped myself okay in a diarrhea fashion I was in the I was in the bathroom the toilet stall at the time I thought I just had to to fart and all of a sudden poop just runs down my legs and on the on the floor too I cleaned up the floor luckily my pants were down because um, I just got done peeing which was a deep yellow so I made sure to drink a little bit also I'm a little nauseous too uh, but all that pain in my gut has has uh, definitely it's it's not been an isolated incident, okay? I, uh, it's it's turned into other things. Me pooping myself. I had to sp I spent a good 15 minutes just cleaning up as best I could. I got it all over my legs and everything. I had to wet some paper towel and clean up. I don't want to stink too badly and get kicked out of the library for smelling like diarrhea. But uh, yeah, that's 
All from that, that was a lot to do with the, that bad popcorn I got from the food bank. I, 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 I knew it was going to cause problems, but I grabbed it because those black ladies kept saying, it's all accounted for, you have to take it. So I took it and I just decided to go ahead and eat it, knowing better, knowing better. Now I got an actual visual, um, no overnight parking, 60 minute limit in the city? Holy crap, they're really cracking down around here. I was scared in the Walmart that I was at because they were saying no no overnight parking, no parking. If you see something, say something, report suspicious v suspicious activity. Holy crap. They are really cracking down around here. The gas is up to 319. Wow. If you see something, say something. Yeah, I'm just trying to go through this area as, as quickly as I can, but, uh, wow. They are cracking down on this area. Hardcore. Las Vegas, they didn't crack down like this. This isn't... I, I was getting this feeling like it would be like this a little bit. Where they would, they would hammer down on, peop, on uh, homeless people the closer you get to the, the ocean. Um... There was no problems in San, San, uh, the, the, the last, the one city, San something, and then, and now it's just, it's getting worse and worse. It was pretty good in, in Rancho Cucamondo, it was still, it was still pretty relaxed there, but now things are changing. Things, things are getting a little more, a little more serious. So this, this next Walmart I go to, I'm gonna have to really uh, be careful. I'm gonna move fast, be careful, um, record everything quickly, and then just keep moving along. I don't. I mean, as much as I'd like to take a peek of LA, it just it doesn't look possible for uh, my my find it for for me to to deal with to deal with it. School of Theology? Oh, but I'm, I'm, oh, my head, my head is still, um, very nauseous, so I may not be, uh, communicating clearly. I think I might have a form of sepsis. This, this, uh, this last food poisoning, or, um, whatever, allergy problem to the, the popcorn has, has really not, has really done it. I just got over... I just got over a, a nasty uh, gut pain before, and then I ate that popcorn to cause another gut pain, a different kind. So I was I was probably not 100% recovered from the first one, and then I have the second second problem, and now now I'm really suffering, I'm really doing bad. I'm I'm only driving. I'm not I'm not exactly. Uh, like walking when I walk I'm a little dizzy I'm like I'm run I'm kind of like l running into things a little easier it's a little a little uh, scary for some reason my dizziness has increased I suspect too that also LA LA pollution might be uh, a factor flooded during storm because San Diego was awful too so it, it may not just be myself. It may not just be um, my body failing on me by itself from bad diet and, and all that. It may also be LA as well. It is definitely something can to consider with the LA uh, like pollution and stuff. I'm definitely feeling more dizzy coming in this way. I thought I'd feel it. And, and uh, start feeling it in Rancho Cucamondo or San, San that other San Bernardino, San Bernard Bernardino. Uh, but oh Jesus, yeah! I better just. Nah, I didn't really need to stop. It's 45. Yeah, it gives me a great opportunity to check the map. I'm really sad about losing my iPad. 
Your video isn't approved for monetization. Thanks for submitting your video for monetization. What? I just get this now. <laughs> uh, what video was that? It was an old video. Okay, so, alright. Yeah, curves. Yeah, natural a curve, okay. Oh my god, Laverne Library is right, right off the road. Pomona City Limit? Maybe I could stop at Laverne, I don't know. Just want to get into like a nice parking lot where I might have some good privacy. Laverne is a possibility. Just, just want to see fruits. It's after Fruit Street. D Street. Oh, it's after Fruit Street on D Street. I don't know. Maybe Laverne. Let's make two stops. What the heck? Laverne after Fruit Street. Turn on, probably turn on D Street between Fruit and D Street. I think. I, oh. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, people are a little crazy. That was seen on camera, right? I nearly hit that guy. I think people might be a little um, dizzy as well. I might want to just rush through this area as quickly as possible. I might. It's 45 on around here. Oh, okay, okay. Fruit, Fruit Street and D Street. <laughs> Fruit Street and D Street. Okay, where am I in relation to that? Okay, coming up, coming up. Man, I am so dizzy feeling. You know, I think this dizziness is coming on because of the city. I was wondering when that when the dizziness would affect me. I'm surprised I never I never experienced any dizziness in in Las Vegas. That was that was pretty cool. But around here now, it's it's getting kind of bad. You'd think, you know, people take for granted, you know, th you'd think it, next to the ocean it'd be fine, but it isn't. It's bad. It was bad in San Diego. It's, it's. I mean, you could see the the pollution in yeah, around L L.A. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Fruit Street or oh, uh, maybe White Street actually. White Street. And I gotta pay close attention. Luckily, my blue dot's able to find me. I think that being in the city more, I'll be able to, um, like, follow on the, the blue dot better. You know, I have to say my, my, my gut is, is improving, but, but, uh, my head is really getting more and more dizzy. My head is, uh, really increased in dizziness. Town center really feel odd okay I, I don't really see okay this this is probably a uh, fruit street I could do that turn could I take a right onto doorway Because that would be my turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deward, Deward Way, and then I would see the, the library. Park in the library, hope that there's some uh, good spot to, to park and, and really start digging in my car. Got a real strong need to dig in my car. Just to, just to make a final confirmation of the situation with this iPod. If somebody got it, then they they got access to all my information because I never I never had a security 
protection password so they'll be able to access everything uh, all my accounts and all that um, oh my god the whole parking lot is full of cars no student pickup something about subject parking for library patrons only during library hours otherwise holy crap the whole parking lot is filled yeah it's it's an open it's an open area but wow maybe they had a a meeting Maybe they had some kind of a meeting. I don't know. I smell a strong scent of coffee. Maybe a coffee shop or some kind. Oh. I don't really want to park all the way in. <laughs> Hear the car just fluttering, it's gonna die soon enough. 